Well, I hear you, man, and I feel you too. Will you agree or disagree to this one question? Do you agree that you handled this whole situation to the highest quality of soul and black? In other words, to the standard in which you set based on the reputation you have on this YouTube. Were you in the, um, put it like this, out of all the people that watch your videos, did people agree with the tactics in which you use to handle this situation? Would you say that you could have handled this situation differently? Or would you say that it went down the way it did because that's all you had to deal with? Is there anybody out there who has a snippet of this tape so we can hear it? It's not the fact that your idea was corny or any of that. It's the fact that even with the most simplest ideas that pop in one's mind, when challenged with the opportunity to explain the idea, to get other people to say, you know what? That's not that bad. The opportunity to explain yourself was there. And I don't know from what I heard about the situation and from what you're telling me about the situation. It doesn't matter. The soul in black that showed up to defend the soul in black inside you did it in a way that made soul in black look bad and not the people who he was trying to debate with. In other words, like like the little old lady thing I'm telling you about. Yeah, I was ticked off because somebody was whispering and talking about me and then already, you know how people already, there's always a build up before somebody goes off. And I didn't handle myself to the point to where, you know, I could have, I put it like this. I went and attacked somebody intellectually and broke them down and walked away. And when I walked away, I didn't know I left this person crying. I didn't know that I humiliated somebody. And sometimes when we're challenged with somebody saying something that's like, what the, what did he say? And during the debate, we either get frustrated because at that point we're shocked because of the, the reply we're getting or I can't believe that I can't answer a question in which I put forth. In other words, when somebody asked me about the $1 plan, no, somebody asked me about the um, give everybody some money plan. And he says, well, why should me and my wife lose money by being in a couple? And, you know, I could have went the other route and told him, because it's my plan, fuck you. And now listen, I'm like, you know, that makes sense. Based on a plan that I came out of, that I thought of out of air, someone gave me their two cents, and I altered my plan. But it's just a plan. So when it comes down to giving somebody $10 to invest in real estate to put people in homes, I look at it like this. $10, we'll start the research, and what we're going to do is look for broken down roadside motels. Normally there are 15, 20 units. And I've seen some right here in my neighborhood. Right, not in my neighborhood exactly, but you know, up the road. So you figure for $340,000 to buy a dilapidated motel, fix it. By fixing it, you get sending people to work. How could you fix this? Why don't you send the people to work who are eventually going to be living on this property? See, there's all kind of ways to get the free labor. There's all kind of ways you go to the banks where you donate anything. So, there's all kind of things that people can say and ideas people can have. But when it comes to a man stepping on another man's feet nationally, the logical way to break this man down on his show is to talk on his level. Even but for one minute. If me and 
Jay Ryder is going to debate, and I know he's got a stack of uh, papers right there on everything he wants to talk to me about, and they know everything I got is on this old 386 up in here with the 5 gig hard drive. They know all I got is on the 5 gigs up here. So how do I compete with these people? Even if I was set up and, and, and guided off to a room, how can I handle myself in a room? It's easy. You look to, Just look at how Eminem did it in 8 Mile. You talk about yourself. Because in order to get me to give you any money, you got to sell yourself. And that's real pimping. The greatest hoe is a pimp. A pimp's number one hoe is himself. So let me show you some real pimping here. In order for me to explain myself, you got to buy me. And that cost. So when I try to say that these ideas you have are worth something because you thought of them and you have to think them all the way out. You can't just say something and not have a fallback plan. I can make up an idea right now and fall back on it while we're discussing it. Build it as the conversation goes. So you could have just been saying, hey, give me $10 and we can do this and da, da, da. Thinking of it as it was coming to you in your mind, you was formulating the plan at the same time and he was hit with like BAM explain what's gonna happen with the ten dollars and then you go into your explanation me personally I'm explaining it as I'm thinking of it and if it don't work you step in and say you know this or that or whatever but if somebody guided you somewhere and set you on the wrong path do not belittle yourself in the game and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna explain it because when it comes down to YouTube forget about everything I just said if you got beef with somebody on YouTube it's one-upsmanship I'm gonna have the last word it's not rather your plan was going to be failure or not. It's not you can explain yourself or not. You felt as if you was disrespected and you had to have the last word. And when ain't nobody listening, no one's listening. Then you got to have another last word and another last word and another last word. And these people who are friends or were friends or what not friends or whatever, they stunned. They're like, oh my God, this is not soul in black. Not the one I know, not not this is not him. And thus you go on to a different video I did. How people are one person and they're another person. But um other than that, man, I just been sitting there chilling all day and I've been trying to hit you back on the reply for this video. I did a video earlier and I told you to build a camera on a stick. I built the camera on the stick and I'm trying to test it, man. Research and development, man. I gave you a million dollar idea. Now I didn't build one already. Camera on a stick. I can't get the thing that, man, I was going to do this video on the stick. And it would have been so tight. Been able to manipulate the camera. But somehow this video program sucks and the camera is not really working right now. Give people ideas, man. Let them spread like flowers. Don't belittle yourself in a beef that's not even worth your time or somebody else's time or anybody's time. When you do what you do on YouTube, you do it and you do it pretty good. People listen to you. And I'm only going to comment on people who belittle themselves because I know you're bigger than that. Me and Willie Pete had a series of these videos where me and him jousted back and forth and I learned a lot from Willie Pete. And I'm pretty sure he learned something from me. And we still communicate every now and then. And I know you watch Willie P. So it's one thing in shaping your own YouTube image. Make it in your image. 
Have a good one.